It has been probably close to three years since I've used Windows for any amount of time. I've been very proud of myself in that I've switched completely to Linux on all of my computers for the last five years, and there was only a brief period there where I was dual booting, and even when I dual booted, most of the time, I spent my time in Linux. I never even bothered booting into Windows, and it was just like it wasn't even there. And I've also been proud of myself in that I've gotten several members of my family to switch to Linux. These are people that I have to help with their technical problems every time their computer craps the bed. So it makes it easier on me that they use some version of Linux. Now, like my dad uses Ubuntu, a couple of their members of my family use, use Linux, Linux Mint. Surprise, I did switch to people to Linux Mint, but Cinnamon is really good. The point is, is that there's one person in my, my family that just refuses to switch to Linux. Now, they have good reasons, like the file picker problem that I've talked about on the channel many times before still exists, so there's good reasons for them to still use Windows. The point is, is that I have to actually, you know, service that computer. And I've come to a real realization. Like I knew this, like in my, like I knew this bone deep in my soul that Windows was terrible. But it's not something that is in my face every day, right? So last night, my mom has been having problems with her computer now for a couple weeks. She's the one that won't switch to Linux. She has to use a Windows machine, and it's fine. But whatever. Because she's been having these problems, I've been putting off actually fixing them because. I hate Windows so much, but last night I decided I was going to just fix them. Now, most of my actual intelligence when it comes to fixing a Windows computer, at least these days, seems to be just nuke and pave. It seems to be the best solution for any problem. When your computer starts running slow and it has just a ton of bugs and it's running really hot, nuke and pave seems to be the best way to solve it. Maybe it's not the most technologically minded way of actually solving a Windows problem, but it's the way I chose to solve this problem. And because I decided to do this and I had to go through and back up all of her data and all this stuff, I had to spend several hours in Windows, and Windows 11 to be specific. And I've come to a conclusion, like, like I said before, I've always known that Windows is terrible, but having it right there in front of me, Windows is awful. Like, Windows is so so bad like i'm so used to being able to do whatever i want with my computer like if i want to uninstall something on my computer even something that i shouldn't install like if i wanted to uninstall sudo i could do that like you shouldn't do that but you could do it if you wanted to like you, the system is not going to stop you like it might warn you but it's not going to stop you you can do it on windows you can remove microsoft teams but the icon for it that is in the taskbar can't be removed. It has to stay there. Like, what? Like, no, that's not the way computers are supposed to work. Let me remove the icon if I don't want it there. I don't. My mom doesn't use Microsoft Teams. She doesn't need the Teams icon in, in the taskbar. Let me just remove it. And on top of that, every manufacturer of a laptop adds just tons and tons of garbage on their machines. So even if you want to get away from some of that stuff you have to go through item by item and uninstall it now the, the thing is i was going to actually get a, like a clean install of windows 11 off the internet and do it that way but i lost internet like midway through the whole process so i ended up having to do a restore on the system through the windows restore process and i just reinstalled all the dell nonsense that is there like, like 30 or 40 programs all of which were running in the background, and we were running, wondering why the computer was running slow. Of course it would run slow if all these programs are running in the background. Like, every single one of these had a process. It was so stupid. I just need to calm down. Windows is bad. <laughs> like, like, it's one of those things. Like, like I said before, it's, it, it's one thing to know that Windows is terrible. It's another thing to be confronted with it over and over again when you use it. Like, it's just the whole browser thing. Like, my mom uses Google Chrome, like, 90% of the world. So I had to install Google Chrome on it. And getting that thing to be set as a default browser is painful. You have to go and set Google Chrome for each and every file extension that could possibly be related to the browser as the default. Like, no, <laughs> that's just not, that's not okay. That's not 
good user design and whoever thought it was good user design deserves to be fired and should never work in a programming or design functionality job again like they should never be hired they, they should go work at a grocery store that's more their speed that is horrible design and uh, maybe it's not even their fault they were probably ordered to do it that way in, in, in which case microsoft is an evil corporation we all knew that they were but that's just i mean it's just that is so bad. Can you imagine if that was the default on Linux? We'd be hanging Linus Torvalds up by his short and curlies if he tried to pull something like that. And he wouldn't. Like, obviously, he wouldn't. But the point is, like, there would be no way we'd ever put up with something like that on the Linux side. Even an organization like GNOME, that is very much a do-it-our-way-or-not-at-all kind of organization, they have a very firm idea of where they want their desktop environment to go even they have ways of working around all of their walled garden right there it's easy to it actually is fairly easy to customize gnome if you want to do it uh, you're not supposed to do it but you could do it if you wanted to whereas with windows how would you even go about removing that microsoft teams icon would you have to like edit a registry entry or something like that i don't even know the point is is that it, it's it's very much it would be very much a hack right and eventually probably with an update it would come back right that once they've done a registry update or whatever that i kind of would come back the point of the whole video and i just wanted to rant a little bit because i've literally pulled an all-nighter working on that damn laptop and windows sucks now that i've used windows 11 even more windows sucks even more than i thought it did and honestly i didn't even think that was possible i mean windows is god awful and if you have to use Windows, like, I have to use Google Docs for work. I can't stand Google Docs. They're so bad, but I have to use it for work. So I understand having to use an operating system or something for work that you don't necessarily want to use. If you're in that position where you have to use Windows for work, I am so sorry for you. Like, I, I, I really, truly feel your pain. And here's hoping that someday everyone can use Linux because Linux is just... I, I actually, I think that this whole experience has just made me appreciate Linux even more. So that is it for this video. Just a little bit of a rambly video when I didn't have another idea for something because it's like three o'clock in the afternoon and <laughs> I've had zero sleep. So that is it. You can follow me on Twitter at LinuxCast. If you have comments about any of this stuff, you can leave comments in the comment section below. You can make sure you like and subscribe as well. We're getting really, really close to 10,000 subscribers. So uh, thanks everybody who has subscribed. If you haven't already, hit the the big red button. I can't even say the big red button. I'm honestly surprised at how eloquent I was in this video. I I was I was pretty sure that it was going to be way worse, but I was pleasantly surprised there. So you can support me on Patreon at patreoncom linuxcast Before I go, I'd like to take a moment to thank my current patrons: Robert, Sid, A, Devon, Patrick, L, Fred, Kramer, Meglin, Jack, Sam, Tools, Steve, A, Separate, Linux, Garrick, Samuel, Mitchell, Art Center, Carbon, Dated, Jeremy, Sean, Odin, Marty, Andy, Vlad, Merritt, Camp, Joshua, Lee, J Dog, Peter, A, Crucible, Dark, Ben, Six, and Primus. Thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you next time.